This is the only digital research channel in India producing the documentary ethnographic films on the endangered human populations and ethnic cultures of India. So subscribe this channel to know more about the endangered human population and ethnic cultures of India on every weekend. The term Kadiya or Kariya is used from the word of Kad or Kadi. In Hindi it means Dole. This was used to carry the king by the Kadiya people. So they were called as Kadiya people. The Kadiya are also called as Pahari which means the hill. Kariya also called as Savar, Sabar, Kheriya, Erniga or Pahar. Outsiders call them as Kariya, but they call themselves as Sabar. They are called Pahari, that means you know hill Kariya, because they live in the forest and depend on the forest produce. Concerning the origin of the name Kariya, Razal and Hiralal suggest that it is a jargon term derived from Kar Kariya, that is plankin or litter. The origin of the name Kar Kariya has been contracted to Kaya who carry the plankin. The Kariya are thus named in accordance with the tradition that their first ancestors carried a bhangi that is a carrying pole. The Kariya tribe lives in West Bengal, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Jharkhand and Orisha states. In Orisha, they are mainly found in Jashipur and Karanjiya blocks of Mayurbanj district. Called Pahari Kariya because they live in the midst of the forest and depend on the forest produce. Most of the Kariya settlements are deep in the jungle. To reach the interior settlements, it takes minimum of a day. Some of them are also having domesticated animals such as goats, sheep and cows. Apart from using a jeep for our journey, we have walked a long distance to reach the settlements. The Hilkaria claims that they have originated from the shell of a pea fowl's egg and they claim that they have uh, migrated from Chota Nagpur, that is from Jharkhand region to this place. According to Grierson, the Kariya language is a branch of Munda language hitched together with certain language form of the Astro-Asiatic subfamily of the Great Aztec family languages. They regularly speak distorted or corrupt languages of Santali, Odia, Adivasi, Mundari, and local Kudumi, and also Purana for their conversation. In Kadia village. We have the block GRDA Mayur Banj. Name of the block is uh, Jashipur, GPO, Matingar. Scheme under TFC and manage MGNREA scheme. They have made the road construction and uh, a Khadi Shahi. Uh, this name of the village is Mathiagar. And we are going to see here. We can see here. This is the village. Hill Kariya lives in the midst of the forest. Their houses are situated contagious to water resources which are made of mud, wood with a thatched roof made of mud clay having no window in the house and walls are plastered with mud. 
their houses are constructed in rectangular shape comprises only one room which they are used as kitchen bedroom store room etc the villages of hill karia comprises 10 to 20 families but there are villages which has less than 10 families the hill karia villages are generally homogeneous under mankadiya mankadiya developmental agency scheme some of the welfare measures they have taken up here and the welfare measures under the welfare measures they have the asbestos sheets house and some of the uh, tiled houses they have made but the, you can see here twin houses twin houses each house is uh, divided into two blocks you can see here uh, two houses most uh, with the negritoid race round face you can see here round face the nose broadness and thickness and you can see the eyebrows and the eyes also very small uh, looking like a, uh, it seems for me it is like a bushman uh, type of people he physic is also height is also stature is also little small they have and you can see here uh, the ear lobe attachment here and uh, again hot so very short uh, fingers you can see here very short fingers hard working they are very hard working see here the blood clotting hard working people and you can see here this is the senior man and this is the you can see here this face and uh, other is uh, looks like a neanderthal man or something like that which you have to discuss in our uh, with our people unique the broadness of the nose and the ear the head is very broad like this you can see here the head hmm? and here <coughs> these are the important characteristics uh, and you can see this boy over a period of change his prognathism has uh, came here prognathism another thing which is a distinct uh, characteristics of these people facially physically they are uh, different from other types of uh, santal and other people apart from the roots and tubers and fruits which are available from the jungle their staple food presently is rice along with the cooked rice they eat eat this saga curry which is prepared with the green leaves and mirchi for majority of the tribes presently they are using this saga curry for their rice naam kya hai ch tutkode ha tutkode tutkode is the fruits uh, which berries which will be available in from the fares and they have planted in the near the houses also you see they are eating uh, they are collecting and eating uh, this this is also one of the staple food for them in seasonal seasonally they will be eating this type of uh, fruits no no ha ye hone ha pick ha ka ka tu tum ko ka 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 गाड़ी <laughs> Uh, the water is not pure, so she has uh, made the cloth here, and she is filtering the water. <coughs> so she is getting good water. She filters and takes the water for drinking purposes. This the, the water problem is one of the important uh, problem here. Maternal mortality and child mortality rate is very high. among the hill kadia tribes this may be due to the neglect of health care practices from the inception of the pregnancy to its termination no specific nutritional diet was consumed by women the consumption of iron calcium and vitamins during pregnancy was very poor the habit of consuming handi 
that is the alcoholic drink during pregnancy period was also observed among the kadiya women here we can see the mother with the child carrying how anemic she is here you can see again the problem of anemia is more among women and children compared to the men and the children very uh, malnutrition children you can see children doesn't have any proper food for them and many of them are old women pregnant women lactating mothers or uh, during our discussion it is observed that no medical doctor is coming even if they come at least monthly once they will be visiting and they will giving some tablets and they will be going women are very weak because they are not able to get the nutritional food there is a scarcity of food for them many of them tell that there is no food for them even they were not able to eat once in a day that is the pitiest conditions they are living they had to work hard and to get for the a meal a day here we can see they are reporting that no doctor is coming for them ha wahi dekh raha hu wo dekho kaisa hai kaisa sab log khana ka problem hai isko chehra bhi to badal lo ha wahi hai to kya kya kata hai aap log kya push lo usko what are the things they are eating the hill kadiya is an endogamous uh, tribe having several clans we also call as gotras such as golgo bhuniya sandi gidi dehru pichariya nago tolang suya dar tesha kotal karmoi digar laha sadar sikari rai dungdong bilgong kiro kirketa soriang kullu ba titi dolia sal alkosi and kaladi all these clans are exogamous clans within the clan they are not allowed to marry the members of the same clan are claimed as brothers and sisters one has to marry outside the clan they cannot marry within the clan so it is strictly followed by the kadiya tribe two types of marriages are found in kadiya society that is by marriage by negotiation and marriage by love they prefer cross cousin marriages they practice monogamy they practice bride price which is a paid by cash and also the kind the kind they pay are the paddy goat and liquor the local priest called as dehuri performs the marriages divers and widow remarriage are permitted for new local after marriage the son establish a new house because of the property many of them prefer to do low marriages because it is less expensive most of the families of kadiyas are nuclear in nature the descent is through the male line seita hoje amor thakur no na pahada buli pari mone generally they will uh, bury the dead body they won't cremate of cremating itself and the cremated dead body after the 10th day they will perform a ceremony what is that ceremony gali gali kya bolta hai usko gali 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 ceremony where they will shave uh, clean shave on the 11th day they will offer uh, food for all the people non vegetarian food uh, that is a goat and chicken they will sacrifice and also they will have liquor daru pita hai us din हंडिया 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 दे विल हैव 
and they will uh, it, uh, food will be served for all the people who will be there so that ends the 11th day ceremony ends for the mayor the ceremony 11th day so gara din kon jagah kapda mathai mathai lokam ga bandhu 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 acha relatives they will uh, give their cl- new clothes the 11th day death ceremony pollution ends with the feast given by the deceased family members to कौन सा कौन सा देवता बड़ा मठा करो बड़ा मठा करो बड़ा मठा करो पूजा करो तापुरे हमरो गांव रे ये ठाकुरानी मां पधवा पति की पूजा करू छु तापुरे रामर्जा रामर्जा पहाड़ ठाकुर पहाड़ ठाकुर तापुरे अठ दौड़ अठ निजारी जगरन जगुना बारा रंडा ठाकुर हिल कडिया और पॉलिटिक्स एंड नेचर वर्शिपर्स ठाकुरानी the earth goddess is the supreme deity of hilkaria hilkarias also worship dharani devata and sun god they believe that sun god is the creator of earth and all living being the other deities they worship are namely badum budi ram raja pabha bira maha bira bandra beta Thakurani, Bauli, Basuli, Basuki, Grama Devti, etc. Among the hill karyas, every clan has their own deity, and they have strong faith on their god and goddess, and strictly practice their religious rituals. Raja Maga Siro Hela. से परा हे लारे आज मग सिर हेला जुबा काए कांथ भाई बिदो सो गला रे मते अन हेला कोला बिदो सो गला रे मते अन हेला कोला सोमास जाऊ जाडो से परा जाडो रे पुसोमास जाऊ जाडो कांतो तिने से नाम रो करम ताकुड रे बिहि कला छाडो बडो करम ताकुड रे बिहि फगुणे दूरी गोविंद दूरी गोविंद रे फगुण दूरी गोविंद दूरी खेलू चंती भाई और मानंद रे दूरी रे कड़े आनंद हिल करिया 
inhabiting places are rich in numerous plants and animal species as well as minerals they are depending on the minor forest produce also the major minor forest produce are honey beeswax kusum seeds karanja seeds char seeds tasar cocoons sal resin mahua fruits and flowers arrow root sal leaves sali leaves and firewood are the minor forest produce they are collecting from the forest the use of non timber forest produce are meant for only consumption goods goods for making are both consumption and marketing it is observed that there are 42 types of minor forest produce is being collected by the hill karia in the study villages these types include a variety in terms of the plants pots and animal pots used for several purposes these include almost all parts of the plant including fruits leaves flowers bark stem seeds root and tuber gum and other parts they collect the forest products for two purposes one if for sale use and another for sale purpose the minor forest products collected for sale and own consumption are amra dahu jamun mango dumar jackfruit wild fibers broom grass mushrooms berf powder harra behra drumstick fuller's earth chew sticks medicinal plants bamboo tamarind guava bell amla papaya fishes and yams these are the minor forest producers they will be collecting for their own consumption and also for selling in the market generally by way of barter system ilkadia depend on the weekly shandies to sell their minus forest produce and to purchase the essential commodities like salt vegetables collected tomatoes they are growing and other requirements from the shandy here we can see they sell the turmeric which they have collected from the forest and also they will be selling the roots and tubers which are available from the forest this root and this one they will mix it they ferment it for 2 uh, 3 days then they will uh, make it as a haddi haddi which is called as haddi which will be popular drink for uh, tribals in this region bonda sir aru ki ki naam ki ya bonda bonda ya cho al cho ye ye jal dinne bol re wala ye ya ji ya ji ya ji ye sila sila ha kitne mein dete hai 2 rupya all do do rupya so this is sell for 2 rupees for each one piece this is the ंग for drinking the hadia that is rice beer and also a palm sap which are available in the shandi here you can see it is the rice beer and this is the palm sap two different rice uh, beer drinks are available here and they will be choosing which one they like the hadia is prepared by the savara tribe who are the neighbors to them and the palm sap also is collected from the palm trees which they like it very much and every day also the rice beer they will take uh, 
from the Savara women. The Savaras are experts in making the rice beer and collecting of the palm sap. Here they enjoy the drinking in the shandy. Only for Mankadiya and Kadiya people, this is one of the school where 250 students are uh, studying here. You can see here, educational complex. From 1st standard to 7th standard, it is uh, available. Here we have uh, 18 uh, teachers. Among them, the school is having a very good infrastructure facilities, the classrooms and the hostel facilities are very good. They are providing the uniform, books and other stationery for the students. The teachers also taking the lessons regularly and this teaching is also satisfactory and they have all facilities in the school. The students worry that after completion of the 7th standard where they had to go. Many of the students expressed that after completion of the school they have to go back to the villages and live in their own age old uh, conditions of life. You can see here the girl is uh, informing us that either she has to get dropped after 7th standard or she has to go back to the traditional food gathering and hunting. As though I have learnt a lot from the school, from the teachers and my food habits are also changed. Now I had to go back to my village and live my own age old conditions of living. This is the fate of many of our Kariya people. It is observed from the students and also interaction we came to know that the students wants the present schools to be converted into the high schools at least up to plus two level they should be converted so that they are able to study here up to plus two level and also they need a college at least district wise one college for exclusively for tribal girls so that they can able to go for higher studies. Here you can see the seventh stand girls after completion now they have to go back to the villages to the same age old conditions of living. So here there is no use for them getting education up to seventh standard and going back to the age old uh, traditional system. So the teachers and also the officers who are associated with the school they also informed us that they need higher education no doubt 
the tribal children are very intelligent the high q is very high and also they have the sharpness to learn the girl children who are studying in the school won't go beyond the seventh standard nowadays the children came to know about the value of education if they study up to high school and pass the examination they may get a job in the government offices especially in the forest department as forest guards or peons in the welfare department some of the dropout children are engaged as casual laborers in the horticulture and other uh, welfare departments so the children also are of the opinion that they need the higher education so they are demanding that they should be provided the schools up to the high school and also college level they need yes it is necessary that these children should be taken care of by the government by providing the higher education and also the hostel facilities for them still they study college level and university level from our research it is observed that the hill karia are facing numerous livelihood challenges for their survival sex ratio of hill karia is satisfactory but literacy rate is very worst more than 8% of the population are illiterates and female literacy is in vulnerable state among the hill karia tribes around 90% of the households are having food gathering as their principal occupation and sources of their survival the health status of hill kadiya is uh, very poor it is lower and inferior compared to that of the general population maternal malnutrition is quite common among the hill kadiya women infant mortality maternal mortality is also observed among this population most of the hill kadiya health conditions is very poor it is mainly because of the deficiency of the balanced food it is observed in the field the anganwadi or the balwadi centers are not existing in the villages so it is suggested to open these centers in the hill kadiya settlements for the nutritional supplement the hill kadiya though they differ in their ecological and cultural setting was found to suffer from almost all the deficiency diseases this was due to the lack of balanced diet in their consumption pattern though the natural resources are available in abundance in the tribal areas especially in the forest region the tribes did not know the nutritive value of it or they followed the traditional pattern of food consumption the food habits of the tribes should be changed to meet their nutritional requirements though proper utilization of their natural resources available in their habitat the diseases which are common among the hill kadiya people are the ailments such as headache stomach ache body pain cough fever gastric trouble diarrhea dysentery asthma skin rash and dental caries they were found to suffer from the these diseases either mildly intermittently and persistently improper utilization of the natural resources available in these tribal areas in maintaining their health status remains a constant among the tribes environmental and personal hygiene plays its role with the prevalence of diseases among the tribal population the habit of chewing tobacco smoking and drinking haddi and other liquors was prevalent among these tribes even women had an equal share in the above practices most of the hilkadiya women the reproductive age group was concentrated in 26 to 30 years when analyzed the age at marriage their conception waiting time outcome child mortality delivery practices includes the persons and place beast feeding pattern including duration and supplementary feeding shows that there is a dire need for an intensive nutritional 
education among the tribal women. 90% of the deliveries were conducted at home with the help of the family members or with the help of local medicinal women. No specific precautionary were observed in conducting the deliveries, resulting in increasing susceptibility to various infections. Training of traditional healers, birth attendants and educating tribal girls for delivery of healthcare services so that the tribal way of life is not altered is of dire need so that the tribals do not confuse themselves with the modern medicine. The hill kadiyas are still depending on the minor forest produce collection for the subsistence of economy. Marketing their minor forest produce is the major problem. The Girijan Cooperative Society is too far for them to sell their products. The middlemen are exploiting the hill kadiya people. So there is a need that the cooperative society people should come or to visit the Kilkadia settlements at least once in a week to collect the minor forest produce and they can exchange the goods with the other products for their requirement by the way of barter system. The National Rural Employment Generation Scheme is working here. Most of the tribes, these tribes are depending on the National Rural Employment Scheme for their survival. But the payments are uh, delayed for them and uh, it takes to get the payment months together. At least they have to wait 3 to 4 months to get back their uh, payment. The services of the non-governmental organization should be channelized in a way that it does not form an encroachment into the services of government. The natural and human resources should be properly utilized to improve the nutritional health status of the tribes. Awareness need to be created regarding adverse effect of excessive intake of uh, haddi or uh, another, any alcoholic drinks. In many of the Pilkadia villages, there is a problem of uh, water, fresh water for the drinking. Hence, it is suggested that fresh water should be provided to all the villages by construction of the tank. The health workers or the ASHA are the backbone of any medical system and a mode of contact between the tribals and the medicinal people. The study shows that there is a lacuna in the functioning of the health workers. This framework should be strengthened in all the Hilkaria villages. Hilkaria and Mankaria Developmental Agency is also called as HKMDA. With its headquarters at Jashipur is working since 1987 with the aim to bring all round developmental by implementing developmental programs to raise the standards of living and to ensure quality of life to the hill Kariya tribe. Even today, forest is the main source of survival among hill Kariya tribes. They collect the forest produce for their own consumption and also sell in the market to earn money. So forest produce and labor is their main source of income and livelihood. They spend more on non-food items compared to the food items. In non-food items, they spend more on social ceremonies, alcohol and ornaments. Drinking alcohol is a major problem among the hill Korea and it weakens their economic conditions. Chicken pox and skin diseases are major diseases affected by the hill Korea tribe. It is important to note that preference of receiving treatment from government hospitals has increased but still many of them prefer the traditional way of healing. The efforts made by the state and central government schemes has not successfully empowered them and improved their condition. Therefore, special policy measures must be taken urgently to save them from vulnerability, improve their living condition and bring them at par with the other communities. It is suggested 
that there is an urgent need to prepare a policy planning report in assessing the aspects such as their livelihood pattern housing drinking water education economy health and infrastructure transportation and communication facilities available to the hill karia villages for their development and conservation i hope this document will be useful for many of the administrators policy makers and the scholars who are mainly working on the aborigines of india thank you for viewing this document thank you very much for your viewing thank you namaste